Wanting to work with 3D printing but don't want to work with the smell? Well today we're going to talk about resin printing and carbon activated filters. So see you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we're going to talk about 3D printing, specifically more the resin realm, of keeping your air clean, because let's be honest, 3D printing can be smelly. Um, it's one of those things with FDM, you're burning plastic, and with resin, you've got a chemical poured into a vat that is sitting there in the open. So there can be a distinct smell, but also you're inhaling this kind of stuff. So you want to make sure your air is clean as possible, and that's what we're going to discuss today is two ways to do that, a very cheap and very, ineffect and very effective way to do it, and also a very expensive way to do it. So there's two options here, especially if you're in a very tight space, you've got kids, different things like that, you want to make sure you're printing safely. So that's always a key thing when you're printing, when you're 3D printing. You want to have your printer in a well-ventilated, well-climate controlled space so that you can safely print. None of us want to inhale that junk. None of us want to have that problem. So we're going to look at two options today. One of them, I, I love both options and I use both as a redundancy level because I have a lot of resin printers. So kind of one of those things, we're going to jump into the smaller, cheaper one. Then I'm going to show you the bigger one that I'm actually using as well to kind of give a double layer to my print shop. So let's hop to that first one. But before we do, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We got all kinds of content with 3D printing and all that fun stuff. So make sure you subscribe and join us as we continue learning new things. I learn new things every time I pull one of these out. So let's keep doing this together. Also, if you're a current subscriber, thank you. You are appreciated and stick around with us. So, and also, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing good. We want to make sure that we're making good content and your guys' suggestions and stuff in the comments down below and your questions are always welcome because it helps us make new content because we're curious about what you're running into. So, with that said, let's hop over to the first device. All right, so like I said, we're going to talk about a few things to help deal with the scent and safety with resin printing and even sometimes with filament printing because ABS can have a distinct horrible smell too. So the first thing, especially if you're doing resin 3D printing, I recommend these little air purifiers. They're carbon activated and they sit down in your 3D printer while you print. They come in a pack of two usually. Um, this is the Anycubic version and this is the Illigoo version. Um, the only real difference between the two is this uses a USB-C cable to recharge and this uses a USB micro cable. So. Um, just different cables, but they perform the same function. They both last for about 24 hours on a single charge. And basically when you set up your printer, you set this in the back under the lid. And this guy is cleaning up the air from that scent and chemicals from the resin while you're printing. So when you open that lid, you don't get a big blast of resin smell, which is, you know, pretty important. Um, cause I hate that. And you know, I have a ton of printers. So I usually put these, especially in my frozen Mega Sonic 8 case, I put these in there. I put my Saturn S has the USB version that plugs into the top. So it has one of these that is co constantly running because it's running an activated carbon filter. So we'll pop this open here, maybe, and uh, try to show that to you. There we go. So you see this little block in here, it is activated carbon. And that is what's filtering out the air and filtering out those gnarly chemical smells and keeping the air cleaner so that you can work. And as you can hear, I doubt you can even hear it. Yep, because I can't even hear it. That's it powered on. I've got it right up against the microphone up here. I doubt you're picking up any sound. They're whisper quiet. So really a great thing, a great way and a simple way to heat clear, clean air where you're printing and keep those odors down. So definitely recommend these. A two pack is usually about $30 on Amazon. Links for these will be in the de description down below. It just depends on which one you want. Honestly, I like them both. So um, they work really, really well. And I have a set for each of the big printers. So the other thing, you know, you get up close and personal with these printers quite a bit. And oftentimes what I'll do is I'll try to get all four printers to finish around the same time. And then I'll empty all of them at the same time. That's where this guy comes in handy. So I use a face mask oftentimes when I'm emptying these to make sure I'm not breathing anything harmful because I've got four printers worth of open, uncured, and you know resin to deal with. And 
This guy comes in really handy in protecting myself during that process with the dual filters and everything like that. So this one's mighty comfortable. I like this one a lot. It comes with definitely spare filters and stuff to help keep you a little bit safer. So link for this guy is down in the description down below. But a lot of times you guys don't see a lot of me doing that stuff on video because uh, I can't re-aim the camera, move everything where it needs to be. But oftentimes, and also if I'm sanding, I've got one of these on because I don't want the resin particulate that gets in the air from sanding to also get in my lungs. So this guy is just a handy dandy way to do it. You can get away with probably the cheaper masks, but I go, I want to protect my health. And I'm doing this one quite a bit. And these only run maybe 25, 30 bucks. Um, link to this guy will be in the description as well. So I've talked about the two small, cheaper ways. Now we're going to go to the big boy. This is the Bissell Air 320. So this is a, one of the few HEPA filters that you'll find out there that has an activated carbon filter in it as well. And what I've done is in my print shop, right in front of the air intake, this guy sits and is running. And it's pulling in that air, it's cleaning up with the HEPA filter, but it's also cleaning it with the carbon filter. So basically, this machine is doing double duty before the air is returned back to my main air unit. And you can see I've got my HEPA filter, then it's got the activated charcoal filter sitting behind it. So this guy is the important piece, the activated carbon filter. And this guy is purifying the air in my print shop before it goes back into the main house. Now this guy has a bit of a higher price tag. And in my house, the air intake is pretty close to the floor. So this guy is able to actually sit right in front of it with my print shop. So it does a great job of keeping the air clean and helping me out. It stands on its own two legs. Again, this is the Bissell Air 320. You're going to spend anywhere from between two to three hundred dollars for one like this. But overall, my print shop air is clean. It's double whammy with the little ones, so I'm actually just trying to protect myself. Now, granted, my print shop has a window and I can open it up, but I also live in Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> it gets hot and humid, and the problem with opening the window is that humidity coming in and affecting the filament printers, which is a no, no, we can't have that happening. So um, this was the bigger part of the solution to do so. So hopefully you guys have found this informative, kind of help you out. We went from low price point to a very high price point solution, but for what I'm doing with the large amount of printers that I have, the higher price solution makes sense. So, um, but if it's one of those things, you got kids in the house, you don't have a very well ventilated area space, you may consider doing like I do with the combination of the two. So kind of keep that in mind as you think about this and want to just make sure you're protecting your lungs and you know your body because your body is the main key. Without it, you, you're not alive. So <laughs> keep that in mind. So if you've enjoyed this content and you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the crew. So we're doing all kinds of new stuff every day. Um, if you're a current subscriber, again, thank you for sticking around and watching the video and helping us out. Make sure you give us a big thumbs up to let us know we're doing good for you. And also, if you have any questions about this or 3D printing of any type, please leave a question down in the comments down below. So your comments help us fuel new videos and also helps you. So keep doing it. So I want to thank you guys and we'll see you in the next video.